Hello all, I hope that you are getting valuable information from my Zero to Hero Microsoft Excel playlist. If you have not watched my playlist, then I have put up the link on the top of this video. Kindly check out this playlist. Now, from this video onwards, I'll be focusing on the various logical functions that we have in Microsoft Excel. So let us start with this first series where I'll be talking about the most important and most valuable function in logical area that is known as if function. So in this video, I'll be talking about the if function and then we'll also go for the concept known as nested if. So let us see that what is the difference between the if and the nested if. So let us start with the practical part. So here we are having the if function. So first of all, I will give you an overview about what is if function and where we can use it. So the if function in Microsoft Excel is one of the most commonly used logical functions. It allows you to make decisions in your spreadsheet by checking whether a condition is true or false and then returning different results depending on the outcome. So as I said earlier that if is a part of the logical functions family and here we are checking the condition and if the condition is true then it will show you some value if the condition is false then it will show you some other value this is the syntax of the if function equal to if logical test we have to check the logical test over here and then if this logical test is true then it will show you some value here and if this logical test is false then it will show you some other value so here it is written logical test the condition that you want to test example let's say a1 is greater than 50 value if true what to return if the condition is true so if the condition is true then what thing you want to return and then value if false what to return if the condition is false so this is what we mean by the simple if function now here i'm having an example where it says that write an if statement in cell c6 to c9 where there are two status that is over budget and under budget when actual is greater than budgeted now see here we are having two figures that is budgeted figure and the actual figure you can go for any concept like sales or profit or whatever here i have to write down the status it says that when actual is greater than budgeted then it is over budget so when this actual is greater than this budgeted value then here i should get the status over budget and when actual is less than budgeted then it is under budget so when this actual is less than this budgeted value, then definitely it is under budget. So I hope that the problem is very clear to you. Now let us start writing here the formula. So here in this cell that is known as C6 cell, I type formula equal to if press tab button. So equal to if now in the if we have to write down first of all the logical test. So what I have to check here, see either I can check here whether budgeted value is less than actual value or I can check whether actual value is greater than budgeted value. Anything I can do it. So let me write down equal to if bracket. Now I will select this cell that is B6. If B6 is greater than A6. If actual is greater than budgeted, then what it is written here, when actual is greater than budgeted, then it is over budget. So I have to put now here comma. Now see in my Excel, maybe I've mentioned this in the earlier videos also, that I'm using the German version of Excel. So in the German version, we don't put here comma, we put here semicolon. But in your case, you have to put comma. If you're not living in Germany, then you have to put here comma. Otherwise you have to put here semicolon. But mostly I've seen that in Excel versions, you have to put comma. So I put here comma. And now what I have to write down here, value if true. So if this actual value is greater than budgeted value, then what I should get the status over budget. Now see over budget and this under budget, these two status, these are text. So whenever it is text, we have to put it in double quote. Whenever we want to show some number, then we have to just write down the number. But here over budget and under budget, they are text. So I have to write down here after comma, double quote, over budget, comma. Now value if false. Now if actual value is not greater than budgeted value, then what we have to get, we have to get the status here under budget. So again, I put comma and then after comma, I put here double quote. In the double quote, I write down here under budget double quote complete please check this double quote and now i have to complete the bracket so see this is the if function very very easy so equal to if here we are having the b6 cell if b6 is greater than a6 then should give the status here over budget and if b6 is less than a6 then it should give the title here under budget 
so that is how we write down the e function i press enter and now here we see that the status is over budget why it is over budget because here we are having actual value which is 920 and 920 is greater than 800 so it is over budget it is above the budget what will be the status over here the actual value is 325 and the budgeted value is 375 so actual is less than budgeted so it is under budget now see here i'll not write down the formula again what we do as we know it's very very simple we have to simply drag the formula so i put my pointer over here and then i drag the formula and now here we are getting the answer here it is under budget because 325 is less than 375 here also under budget because 128 is less than 150 and here it is over budget because it is 550 is greater than 450 so friends this is how we use the if function let us go down and here we are having another example little bit complex example but it's not complex easy to understand so here i'm having an example where we are having the subject marks of one of the student you can assume like that so here we are having the subjects these are the marks out of 100 and then here i have to get the result so this is the condition here that if marks are less than 40 then the result has to be failed if marks are greater than 40 then it should give the result pass if the marks are greater than 60 then it should give the result first class and if the marks are greater than 70 then it should give the result distinction so these four conditions we have to take care now here we can see that the student has got 85 marks out of 100 in physics so here we should be getting the result that is distinction because it is greater than 70 so now let us type the formula with the if function now see here we are having four conditions in the above example we were having here only two conditions so when you are having two conditions you simply write down like this we check one here logical test and then we say if it is true then this if it is false then this here in this example what we have to do because we are having here four conditions so we have a concept known as nested if what is nested if here i have written a nested if in excel is when you place one if function inside another if function to evaluate multiple conditions in sequence so here we are having multiple conditions see nested if is not a function nested if is a concept in excel so in nested if i start with one if function then inside this if function i write down another if function so this is what we mean by the nested if okay so remember again i'm repeating that sentence that nested if is not a function it is a concept in microsoft excel so now let us start writing here the nested if so in this cell that is c17 i type equal to if function press tab see i can start with anything i can first of all check whether these marks are greater than 70 then it should give you the result equal to distinction then i have to check whether it is greater than 60 greater than 40 less than 40 i can start from anywhere i can start from the top also i can start from the bottom also you can decide here i'll start from the bottom so equal to if bracket now see logical test what logical test i have to check i have to check whether these marks which is written in the cell b17 whether it is greater than 70 if it is greater than 70 then it should give here the result distinction so let us type equal to if bracket now i can select this cell that is b17 so b17 has come over here just click it and b17 will come over here now this i have to check whether it is greater than equal to i have to write down here equal to because suppose if the student has got exactly 70 then 70 is also considered as distinction so whether it is greater than or equal to what 70 now see 70 i'm not writing in double quote because it's a number whenever we want to check something with some text then we have to write down in double quote but here 70 is a number so if b17 is greater than equal to 70 comma here i have put semicolon you put comma comma then what should be the result i have to write down in double quote because distinction first class pass fail these are all text so i have to write down in double quote remember this rule so in double quote i write down here distinction double quote complete comma so now i have checked this condition whether this b17 marks are greater than equal to 70 if it is greater than equal to 70 then it should show you the result distinction but suppose if this is not greater than equal to 70 then what value if false so now the thing is coming here is value if false so if this is false then now what i have to check now if the marks are not greater than equal to 70 it means that now the marks will be less than 70 so then i have to write down again if condition if function press tab and now i have to check again the same cell here that is b17 now if b17 is greater than equal to 60 now i'm checking whether it is greater than equal to 60 
if it is greater than or equal to 60 then what then i have to put in double quote first class okay because if it is greater than 60 then it is first class comma now suppose if this student marks are not greater than 70 not greater than 60 it means that now the marks are less than 60 so now i have to check one more condition that whether the student marks are greater than equal to 40 so i type here again another if function and now in the if function i again select the same cell b17 comma greater than equal to 40 comma now i'm checking whether his or her marks are greater than equal to 40 if it is greater than equal to 40 then what should be the result here the result has to be pass okay very simple pass comma now suppose if that student marks are not greater than equal to 40 so it means that the student marks are now less than 40 so now here remember that now i don't have to put again that if function that whether if b17 is less than 40 because see if the marks are not greater than 70 if the marks are not greater than equal to 60 if the marks are not greater than equal to 40 then what does it mean that the marks are less than 40 so now i don't have to write down again the if condition i have to simply write down here after comma in double quote fail okay so friends here we have completed the if function now what we have to do we have to complete the brackets because we have not uh, completed the brackets we have started with some brackets but now we have to complete the bracket after this fail i'll be writing here one bracket two brackets and three brackets now how do i know that i have to type here three brackets because many times you have to complete two brackets many times you have to complete five brackets six brackets it all depends upon how long your formula is there so remember one simple logic that in case of microsoft excel the color of the outermost bracket is always black color so when you start completing the bracket as soon as you get the black color it means that you have to stop that's all that's the logic because inside this black color bracket we are having different color brackets like red color and purple color and you may have green color also blue color also but remember this logic that whenever you want to complete the bracket you have to see that whether the last bracket is of black color because in excel what happens that suppose if i don't put the correct brackets then definitely it will give me error so now i have placed all the three brackets here and my last bracket color is black color so now i press enter and now you see that we are getting the result here distinction because it is 85 85 is greater than 70 so it is distinction now i simply drag this formula by putting my pointer over here i simply drag the formula and now here we are getting the result so 85 it is distinction 65 is first class 35 is less than 40 so it is fail 45 it is pass 75 it is distinction 55 it is again pass so friends this is how we have seen here this simple concept of if function and we have also seen the nested if nested if is not a function it's a concept yeah so when we are putting one if function inside another if function then that is known as nested if whenever we are having multiple conditions to check then we go for the nested if now in the next video i'll be showing you the differences between the nested if and there is one more function which is known as ifs function ifs if function so see you in the next video thank you very much